All right. Hello. Does it sound okay? Does it look okay? Does the background look better? You may have noticed that I've made a few changes around here. While not everything would be completely visible, I'm hopeful that things from here on out will sound a little better, look a little better, and hey, look at this new intro. YouTube channel I've had here has always meant to be a place where I can upload and create moments and put together episodes and series of things hopefully for you guys to digest and enjoy. One thing I'd like to do moving forward is having moments here and there where we'd be able to make things a little bit more personal. So that's why a couple days ago I had a great suggestion from somebody and thought it would be a great opportunity for you guys to ask me quite literally anything that you'd like. So. I asked you guys to ask me a question. It can be about me, it can be silly made up situations, it can be ridiculous, it can be serious, and the best questions will make this video. So please note that I'm going to do my best to include as many as I can, however, I probably won't include all of them. As we go through this, if you guys do enjoy this, if you wanna see more videos even of this style as well, give the video a like, give it a dislike, give me some feedback on if you guys enjoyed this or not. And who knows, if it's scuffed enough, I'll probably do this again. How did this manage to get pushed up to the top? Would you rather give up flannel for life or punch a baby in front of its mom? You know what? I'd probably get rid of this. Look at this beautiful official Ook merchandise. Pullover hoodie in white? In black? I could see you in this. Link in the bio. Do you still play with Laven? I guess while he isn't in too many of my videos, I talk to him all the time. We are very good friends. Has being a full-time streamer ever hampered any aspects of your personal life? I think that's a really fair question. There's definitely things with my channels that sometimes take up more time than I anticipate. And through the years, I've gotten better at time management and making sure I'm managing priorities first. It's pretty easy sometimes to lose track of time and fall down a rabbit hole of a project or something. So I guess I would say the biggest thing that it's kind of consumed is just time. I still have close relationships with friends that matter to me dearly, family that matters to me dearly. I still find myself being able to have the time available to go out and do things that I desire. I don't feel like I'm missing out on too much and I don't feel like I'm missing out on important moments in life. I feel like I'm still able to attend the things that matter the most. But that doesn't mean that I don't spend a lot of time indoors, because I mean, who's gonna edit for free? All in all, I'm really passionate about what I do and I'm trying to get better at what I do and how often I can do it and how often I can do it better. And I'm always trying to exceed my own expectations. I am my own worst enemy, but I'm very happy with where my channels are and I do hope that they continue to grow through efforts that I'm putting in. Good question. What are your hobbies other than gaming? Were you aiming to be a streamer for a long time or did you want to do something else for a living? Other hobbies now, I really like doing creative writing. Every now and again, I'll work on something musical. Music was actually a really big part of my life growing up. Hobby wise, I used to play a lot of basketball to the point that I took it really, really seriously. And at one point in my life, I did have ambitions and goals to chase a professional career, but life can get complicated and other things came up in the way and then other goals and new ambitions just took over. And eventually Eventually, the world of content creation just came into my life and stepped into my life at the time and I didn't realize how many of my talents could apply into something like this. However, there was a lot of stuff yet that when I went into it, I had to discover what specific things I could apply those talents to. So no, I definitely never aim for things like that, but I'm very happy that they stepped on my doorstep. How many glue guns does it take to make a successful Q&A video? Just one. What is your actual favorite fruit? A banana. As an ook, when you see a Musa, a dead Musa, in your grind spots, what is your first reaction? This. He's a dead Musa. What is the most OP class in BDO at the moment? To be honest, I really feel like the best answer is the one that you like most. We've seen time and time again people excel at many different angles and areas when someone just loves their class and they're willing to do anything to be good at a class they like. Unless you're a lawn, lawn's pretty OP. Why does G Fuel taste so much better when you buy it using Code Ook? Because if you don't, you don't get the satisfaction of supporting some of your favorite creators. Have you ever wanted to stay energized, focused, and goddamn look as good as I do? Then use Code Ook off your next purchase at G Fuel and support me. Support me and stay energized. Anyone need their car sold? Why are bananas yellow? Serious question. 
Apparently, bananas have to be near other bananas or similar fruits that give off ethylene? Ethylene. Huh. Gas in order to ripen. The yellow comes from the diminishing amount of chlorophyll as the banana ripens and turns from green. The banana then turns brown as the sugars ferment within the banana and its peel. You're welcome. What time do you sleep at night? You're asking it like I get sleep. What makes you not bored while playing Black Desert Online, especially when you reach the desired AP slash DP? At this point, my bigger ambitions are just bigger projects and getting ideas to make something creative for you guys to enjoy and digest. But even as you progress through the game, there's times where you will just step into areas where other goals become easier, and those include some endgame items too. But RNG is RNG, man. What do you like about doing YouTube videos? I mean, that's simple. I like the experience of being able to set a goal, and then go through that experience, and then once achieving that goal, being able to go back and then compile that into a story or something. I like the idea of being able to take something that took two weeks, a month, a year, and being able to compile that into something simple, potentially over the top, and hearing the feedback from it. The best possible currency is someone liking something that you made. So I guess that's kind of fuel for pushing ideas and trying to do something beyond what you're comfortable with. And I'm still working on that every single day. Do you think Black Desert Online is the only content we care about? A. Yes. B. No. C. Games are meant to be played. D. All of the above because we love and support you at the end. Aww. To be fair, I'm gonna keep doing what I have the most fun with. If I get bored of something, I'm not going to then prioritize making something on that just so I can share how miserable I am with something with you guys, just so you guys can feel the same way. If I'm not enjoying something, I'm gonna go do something I enjoy. And if I enjoy that enough, I'm gonna hopefully make something that you guys can enjoy to enjoy it with me. Yeah. You're a striker main, but what other classes do you like to play for a change of pace? Ninja. Just ninja. What do you do if you're feeling unmotivated in life? I create. But if I get unmotivated to create, I take it easy. I've learned with myself that I need to be able to identify when I'm getting burnt out because eventually it starts to stack up and eventually it goes back to making me feel miserable. So I try to find a friend I can talk to, hang out with, games that I like to play, things that I like to watch. I have a dog, I have a cat, hang out with the people I love, hear from the people I love, and do things that fill me with energy so I can bring that energy back into the things that I want to apply to most. Will this question be in the video? What is your stream schedule and how old are you? My stream schedule is Tuesday to Sunday. I usually start at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, anywhere between 6 to 8 p.m. depending on the day and what I'm doing. And then I usually finish anywhere from 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. How old am I? 27? How old am I? I just had a birthday and I turned 28. I am 28 years old. Wow, I am a boomer. Can I ask two questions instead of one? Sure. What is your next question? What are you? A monkey? An ape? An orangutan? Or a gorilla? A nuke? What are you new here? What is your best and worst BDO moments? My best BDO moment. My best BDO moment is probably when I fully turn off Black Desert Online. My worst BDO moment was probably installing Black Desert Online. Yeah. Are you going to play Crimson Desert as much as you played BDO? Who's to say? I can't say that I'm honestly really thrilled for Crimson Desert Online. If a game is good and I like it enough, I'm gonna play it. If the game is not good, I'm not. We're gonna have to wait for that one to come out before I can give that one a full answer. What class did you play before Striker? Striker is the first class that I ever played. I actually started playing Black Desert Online when Striker came out, ironically enough. And when I started playing Striker, everyone kept asking me, What class did you play before? Does your mom know you're gay? Well, let's get straight to the point. First of all, I'm straight. Second of all, it wasn't my mom that thought I was gay. It was actually my grandma. But that's a story for another time. Why does your face make me so moist? Upload more videos, bitch. I'm trying! How did you come up with the phrase ook? I was fighting someone at Pirates on my striker and they called me a brainless face rolling ook. And it, ironically enough, I'd never heard that before because I always gone with like gorillas, monkeys, ape. And when someone called me an ook, that one just stuck with me. So I made it my own. Have you ever wanted to quit making content, stop being a streamer? You put a lot of effort in your videos and wonder if you ever get burnt out. I wouldn't say quit and stop, but there's definitely times where I don't want to do something. Like I might have this big grand video that I have all the footage for and I just need to edit it and I know that the project's gonna be quite a while. And there's times where it's just like, I don't want to do this. 
but the end result is always the most rewarding, to be honest. And to be fair, I get to do something where I'm the most happy I've ever been, so it's hard to want to quit that, but admittedly, there are days where you're just not. 10 out of 10 and being present on camera or being present even over the microphone is just something you just don't feel capable of doing in a day and there's times where you're just actually exhausted from all of it as a whole so it does happen but again that's why I try to make sure that I'm taking time to rest and I firmly believe that taking time to rest and just taking it easy as well taking enough for yourself is exactly what you need to be able to go at something 100% and it's so important. So yeah, ultra serious question. What do you do when you resurrect as a shy main? Simple, you watch my shy tier list. <laughs> Are you able to rhyme from top of the dome with from top of the dome? That is one hell of an advanced rhyming scheme. Too hot to touch. What are your pets names? I have a, wait for it, a full purebred Catahoula leopard dog. His name is Maverick. And I have a Scottish Fold cat, and her name is Goose. Uh? What men care products do you use? Oh, well, you see, if you just look back at that, that's where I'm gonna call it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please feel free to give the video a like. If you don't wanna see this again, give it a dislike. Give me some criticism, some feedback. Let me know, and who knows, maybe we'll do this again sometime. Thanks for watching, guys.